Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In today's video, we're going to explore a very important aspect of web development, CSS print style sheets. So print style sheets allow you to optimize the appearance of your web page when they're printed. And this is crucial for creating professional looking documents from your web content. So let's dive right in and learn how to create a print friendly style sheet. Print style sheets are used to format your web pages specifically for printing. By default, browsers use the screen styles when printing a web page, which often results in suboptimal printed documents. With the print style sheet, you can hide unnecessary elements, adjust layouts, and ensure that your content looks great. So let's start off by creating a simple, a simple style sheet. So I'm going to create, um, I'm actually going to link to two files. So one is going to be my style.css and the other one will actually be my print.css. And what I need to do is hold control N and I'll do select language, select CSS, and I'll just hit save and save this as print. So now this is my print CSS and now they're both linked. And in my body, I'm just going to add a, add a header tag that just says CSS print style sheet tutorial. And then I'll add a main section and a section inside the main. And I'm just going to add a P tag. And this is just going to say this content is styled for both screen and print in print. Some elements will be hidden and the layout will be adjusted for optimal readability. And then under my main, I'll just add a footer with a copyright logo of saying coded row just to add some content so we can see how it prints. So now let's define our screen styles in styles.css. So currently I have a blank CSS and we'll just make sure our web page looks good on the screen. So I'll just add some stuff to my body, header, main, and footer. So in the body, I'll just add a font family, a margin and padding of zero, and a line height of 1.6, just to make it look a little more modern. And then in the header tag, and I'll just add a background color for the top and change that color to white. And then I'll make sure it's centered and I'll add some padding around it. And now in the main, I'll just add a padding of 20 pixels, just like this. So the content isn't right up against the screen. And then in the footer, I'm going to add a background color and pretty much copy the same style as the header, just like this. So now you'll see that the footer is down here at the bottom with a dark background and white text, just like the header. So we've added some basic styles for the body header, main content area, and the footer. Then these styles make the web page look good on the screen. But now let's create our print style sheet. And the goal here is to remove any unnecessary elements, adjust the margins, and ensure that content is readable when printed. So now I'm going to add a body tag here. So now I'm just going to add a body. And this will be a font family serif, margin of one inch, and a color of hashtag zero zero zero. And this is basically going to start resetting our, um, it's a basic reset for the print and in the header, the header and the footer, I'm going to add display none just like this. And in the main, I'll add a padding of zero. And now in the P tags, I want to add a page break inside avoid. And basically this will just avoid breaking paragraphs across pages. And then I'll do an and sign page and margin colon one inch to set the page margins. And in our print.css, we've made several important changes. We're hiding the header and footer, setting a serif font for better readability on paper and adjusting margins. Additionally, we use the at page rule to set page margins and ensure proper spacing. Let's add some more advanced print styles will include page breaks and ensure images are scaled properly. So now I'll add a image tag and set a max width of 100% and I'll do a height auto. And after my P tag, I'll just do H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Just to, just to insert this page break inside a void. And now I'll do a table which will be width is going to be 100%. And we want to make sure that the border collapse is collapsed. And for table headers and table datas, we want to add a border of one pixel solid black, just to make it more readable, and a padding of five pixels. And then in the at page sign, I'm just going to do a size will be A4. And this will set the paper size. This is your normal eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. 
and I'll hit save. So we've added some styles to ensure images are scaled properly, avoided page breaks after headings, and styled tables for better readability. Additionally, we set the paper size to A4 using the app page rule. Finally, let's test our style, our print style sheet. So in your HTML file, go to browser and go to the print preview, or you can hit control P. And you should see the header and footer are hidden, content formatted for print, and images scaled property if there are any images in your index.html. And if everything looks good, you've created a print friendly version of your web page. Print style sheets are essential for ensuring that your web content looks professional and readable when printed. To recap, we've learned how to create a print style sheet, hide unnecessary elements, adjust margins, and ensure our content looks great on paper. Print style sheets are an important part of web development, especially for pages that users might want to print, like articles, reports, or invoices. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Code with Row for more web development tutorials. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below to join our Discord and support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.